I can get around a city like New York. But I sometimes need a point in the right direction. What city is that over there? That's New York, sir. New York. Start spreading the news. New York City! And you know I'm all about big chips, cause baby, I'm from New York. Me in New York? Ah, oh, I own that city. Forget about it! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Show Me Vegas, and welcome to another walkthrough video. This time, New York, New York, Hotel and Casino. As always, we're going to start at the main valet, and as always, we're going to use this property map to help you find your way around. Now, as I was looking at this map, it struck me as a little peculiar. I never read that this was done on purpose, but doesn't the floor plan of New York, New York's casino look a lot like the state of New York? Whether or not that was done on purpose, you gotta admit it's pretty cool. Alright, let's head inside and find out what there is to eat, see, and do at New York, New York. Now, New York, New York opened on January 3rd, 1997, meaning it celebrated its silver anniversary last year. It's actually one of the smaller hotels on the Strip at just 2,024 rooms. Those rooms had been getting dated, and just recently, New York, New York began a renovation of its guest rooms. Veering to the left from the main entrance, you'll find registration. Right away, you see the Art Deco touches all across this resort. Now, because we won't be back to this spot on the tour, I should mention that around the left end of the registration desk is the entrance to the pool and the most direct route to the parking garage. Heading to the right from the front desk in the southwest corner of the casino, you'll find the first restaurant, America. America is casual American dining and one of your best bets for breakfast on this property. Right next to that is the Il Fornaio Bakery and Cafe, and just past that you'll find the first of several elevator banks located throughout the property. This one, the Century Tower Elevators. Checking the map real quick, you can see these escalators can take you up to the garage as well as well as some of the meeting rooms on property. This is as good a spot as any to look at the casino floor, which measures a smallish 84,000 square feet. Here along the west side of the casino floor, you'll find Il Fornaio. That's a mid-range Italian restaurant, one of the original restaurants at New York, New York. Here, near the northern corner of the casino floor, you'll find the bar at Times Square, a dueling piano bar that splits the casino from the Village Eateries. As you can see, the Village Eateries is a really neat streetscape area where you can find most of the low-priced dining options in this hotel. Before we get all the way back in there, you'll find Chin Chin, an Asian bistro, as well as the elevators for the New Yorker Tower. Right next to that, you'll find Gallagher's Steakhouse, the closest thing you'll find to fine dining at New York, New York. And heading into the village, you'll pass Sirico's Pizza, that's the best place to grab a slice while you're here. These stairs coming up on our left is the most direct way to get to the arcade and the Big Apple Coaster, so let's go upstairs and show you a little bit of what the arcade looks like. An arcade is pretty much an arcade, so there's no reason to show you the entire thing. It is pretty nice, but I did want to show you there's a Nathan's Hot Dog Eatery up here, as well as here is where you'll find the ticket booth for the Big Apple Coaster.
back downstairs and heading north, you'll pass a great place to pick up coffee and a pastry in the morning. And across from that, you'll find the Broadway Burger Bar. The furthest hotel tower from the main lobby is the Chrysler Tower, and this is where you'll find your elevators. Also tucked away back here, you'll find the theater, which now houses Cirque du Soleil's Mad Apple. Mad Apple opened in 2022, replacing Zumanity after a 17-year run. And here on the far north end of the property you can access the park, so let's go outside and have a brief look around. The park connects Las Vegas Boulevard to T-Mobile Arena that way. Also down that way to the left you'll find New Sret, one of the hottest new celebrity chef steakhouses in town. And of course, right in front of us is Beer House, one of the best places in town to grab an outdoor beverage. Looking back toward the boulevard, you'll see Top Round. That's a fast casual roast beef restaurant. Back inside the village, you'll find more great places to eat. The Fulton Fish Fry is on your left, followed by Gonzalez y Gonzalez. On the right is Greenberg's Deli, a great affordable place to pick up a good sandwich. And straight ahead there you'll see 48th and Crepe, offering sweet and savory crepes all day long. Before we get back to the casino, you'll find the entrance to Tom's Urban. As you'll see later, Tom's Urban has one of the best outdoor dining spots on the Strip. You see now we're in the far northeast corner of the casino floor. This exit goes out to Las Vegas Boulevard. Coming back inside, you'll see New York, New York's BetMGM Sportsbook on the small side for sure and crammed into what has to be one of the busiest spots in all of Las Vegas. Heading back toward the casino, you'll find some retail. There's a convenience store on the left, as well as a Swatch store. Now that we've made it through that jumbled mess, I'll pull the map back up so you can see where we are. Straight ahead on the left is Nine Fine Irishmen, an Irish pub, serving perhaps not so authentic Irish fare, but a great place to grab a beer. They also have a really good patio. Past Nine Fine Irishmen, you'll find yet another exit out onto Las Vegas Boulevard, followed right after by the Chocolate Bar, offering chocolate martinis and other sweet concoctions. Just past that, you'll find Hershey's World. All right, now we're headed up to mezzanine level in the corner of the casino. This is right at the intersection of Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard. Right at the top of the escalators to the left, you'll find a beverage and snack shop, as well as New York Pretzel, another place to grab pretzels or pizza. As soon as you pass that, you'll find these doors. This links you to the pedestrian bridge crossing over to the MGM Grand. Headed back to the other side of the escalator, you'll pass Pour 24, a great beer bar with an elevated view of the casino. 
Just past that you'll find a daiquiri bar, followed by the entrance to Coyote Ugly, the closest thing you'll find to a nightclub at New York, New York. Passing a haagen and some other retail options, you'll find the pedestrian bridge that crosses Tropicana Avenue to Excalibur. That's pretty much it for the mezzanine level, so let's head back down and finish the rest of the casino floor. In this corner of the casino, directly below Poor 24, you'll find the former MGM Rewards desk has been turned into the security office. As is the case with most MGM properties now, the MGM Rewards desk has been incorporated into the casino cashier's cage, both of which are on your left. Coming around the corner and headed back toward the main entrance, you'll find the high limit room right here on the left. As you can see, we're back at the main entrance. Now that we've covered the perimeter of the casino, let's go right down the middle. Table games here at New York, New York are found in these three table pits on opposite sides of the center bar. The table games here are usually pretty lively and minimums usually run in the range of $15, although there are some lower limits that can occasionally be found. Directly ahead is that center bar, a great place to grab a drink and be able to see the entire casino floor. Alright, now that we're headed back toward the escalators, let's go outside and show you one of the most distinctive features of this property, the outdoor Las Vegas Boulevard streetscape. Right on the street corner, New York, New York features a 150 foot tall replica of the Statue of Liberty. Believe it or not, the U.S. Postal Service once mistakenly featured a picture of that replica on a U.S. stamp. New York, New York's hotel rooms are all actually contained in a single building, despite the exterior being designed to represent various New York skyscrapers. Out here you can see the exterior entrances to Hershey's World, the casino, as well as the outdoor patios for Nine Fine Irishmen and Tom's Urban. On the right is a replica of the Brooklyn Bridge, where there's commonly a stage featuring live performances. I mentioned the excellent outdoor patio at Tom's Urban, that's here on the left, followed very shortly by one of my favorite burger chains, Shake Shack. Passing Shake Shack, we're back to the park, and that pretty much covers the entire property of New York, New York Hotel and Casino. Hopefully you enjoyed this walkthrough. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these or any other videos we put out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas.